Okay, now we're going to talk about angles. So for angles, uh, this is starting the, the trig material here. We have two different ways that we can measure uh, angles. We can either use degrees or we can use radians. Degrees would be probably what you're most familiar with. One revolution or one trip around a circle, that's going to be a total of 360 degrees. So the 360 is believed to come from the Babylonians who basically based their their uh, year off of 360 days. That's believed that where that came from. Besides degrees, we have another unit of measurement that you may not have seen before and we're going to use radians. Now radians one trip around the circle, one revolution, is the same thing as two pi radians. The pi would be 3.14, the same pi that's used in the area of a circle formula and circumference and things like that. The reason why we use this is because if we talk about very, very large angles, if we go like uh, 10, 10 revolutions, then we're already at a pretty large angle there, three, three 600 degrees. So the larger the angle, the harder it is uh, to, to calculate so that's why we have radians. Radians will take that into fractions, and then the fractions are going to be easier to deal with, and, so, and sometimes the fractions will actually simplify easier instead of having a big number uh, like that. So that's why we learn radians. For those of you going on to calculus, primarily radians you're going to be using most often, so it's important that you understand how to do radians before going on to calculus. So we have a connection here between these. One revolution is 360, but one revolution is also equal to two pi radians. So from that, we can actually come up with an identity here. We can say that 360 degrees is the same thing as two pi radians. This would be the same thing. 360 degrees is the same exact thing as two pi in terms of radians. If I take this and divide both sides by two, then I get 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. So that would be another identity that would be true. So half a revolution, 180 degrees, would be equal to uh, pi radians. It's this one that we're going to use to come up with a conversion going between the two different units. We want to come up with a formula to allow us to go from degrees to radians, also radians to degrees. Let's first do the formula for degrees to radians. So if I want to go from degrees into radians, I'm going to use this conversion right here, the 180 equals pi radians. I'm going to use that for this one. So if I start with degrees, what I need to do is I want to multiply it by pi over 180. So that would be pi radians, our AD, over 180 degrees here. The degrees would cancel out there. That would leave you with a radian measurement. So that would be a formula that would allow you to go from degrees uh, into radians. Degrees cancel, that's why we have the, the pi is going to be on top. Now I also want to come up with another formula going from radians into degrees. So if I go from radians to degrees, I'll start with radians here, and then I'm going to take that one, I want to multiply it by this time 180 degrees over pi radians. I want the radians to cancel out here, and if that cancels out, then I'll have degrees left over as my measurement. So these are the two formulas that we're going to use going back and forth between degrees to radians and radians to degrees. So now that you've seen the two formulas, we're now going to apply them. So the next part of this video is going to be doing some examples going between the two units. Okay, we're going to do these four examples, and these are all practicing going between the two units, radians and degrees. First thing, convert 60 degrees into radians. We just talked about that if you want to convert degrees into radians, we're going to start with our degree measurement. So we start with 60 degrees, and we have to multiply this by pi over 180. This is going to be our conversion formula. That would knock out the two degrees that would leave you with radians as the answer. Now 60 divided by 180, that reduces. So you always want to reduce this as far as you can go. That's going to give you pi over 3 radians is the answer. So 60 degrees is the same exact thing as pi over 3 radians. If you're confused about whether the pi goes on top or goes on the bottom, just think about it more for like a dimensional analysis. For instance, if I have degrees up here, I want to cancel out the degrees down below so that way I get the radian measurement which is what it's asking for. So therefore, if I put the 180 in the bottom, 
then that would cancel out with that on top. So therefore, if you're going this direction, you always want to put the 180 on the bottom to cancel the degrees out that the problem starts with. Let's do this one, negative 405 degrees. So now this one, again, is another one, you're going to do the same conversion. You're going to do 1 pi radians over 180 degrees. We're going to reduce this and you get negative 9 pi over 4 radians would be the answer on that one. So again, this is going to be the most reduced answer is the one that you want to uh, put down. Uh, notice that even though I have a negative angle here, I'll get a negative angle with my radian answer. So if it's a negative degree answer, it's got to be a negative radian degree answer and so forth. Now we're going to go back the, the other direction. We're going to go from radians, we're going to go back into degrees. So doing this, we're going to start with our 4 pi over 3. That's my radians. Now this time, I want the pi on top to cancel. So that means that when I set my uh, my formula up here, I need to put the pi in the bottom and the 180 is going to go on top. That way the pi's cancel. I'll be left with uh, degree measurement as a result. So 3 can go into 180. This goes in there 60 times and that gives us 240 degrees as our answer. Again, the pi's, these, are, these cancel out as well. So then you just get 240 left as your answer. We want to do negative 3 pi over 2, we want to take that into degrees. We'll do the same thing we did before. We're going to multiply by 180 over pi. We want the pi's to cancel. So the pi's uh, do cancel here in this case. Also, 2 goes into 180. You'll be left with 90. Gives you 270 degrees as your result. So again, notice that we get a negative there for radian measurement, which means we should have a negative there for our degree measurement.